Today you're going to see Celtic manager Brendan Rodgers go up against his former captain Scott Brown. They achieved a lot together down the years at Celtic, but to mark the grand opening of Air United's new North Stand, Air United manager Scott Brown will go up against his former manager Brendan Rodgers and his old team in Celtic. Yeah, wow, looks amazing to be fair. Absolutely. Is it fully up and running now yes, then? Or? Yes, yeah, I'll take you over. Will there be fans in there today? Yes. First use of it ever? Um, we had a soft opening on Wednesday night. Okay. Which was basically staff. Yep. So. But in terms of like an actual game of fans, yeah, this is the first. Wow. Well. The pitch is looking tremendous, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we had it all redone last for last season. Basically, everything was stripped away. That's the um, same pitch as last season. Then. That's the same pitch. Well, okay, yeah. this is its second season now. It's incredible. Yeah. yeah. Here we go, taking my steps inside the new stand <laughs> for the first time. Is it 100% complete then, or has it still got a little bit of bobs to do? Or? I noticed the boys were in doing snagging. And so obviously I'm saying it's my first time in this new stand, but these bits are obviously all yeah, traditional. This has all still kept the terracing. This, this was the original North Terracing. But it, it had no roof. It had no roof. So people would just be out here in the elements. That is brave, isn't it? In air, the to old be fair. hospitality yeah. was basically kind of on this level but yeah okay which i mean it was but you can tell it's a lot more grand and a lot bigger it adds a lot of height to the oh, yeah. stadium doesn't it you yeah. can see it from a lot further away here we go this is a bit of me very footy adventures that outside of their brand new stand which looks incredible and modern they have an old turnstile the 1910 club okay uh, yeah which is kind of like a special club for yeah, you pay to join. Yep. So this is like uh, a new hospitality old, area, yeah. Did. These moments on here are to do with the stadium then. Open to the main stand by Archibald Leach, 1924. Built a boundary wall in 50, and 70 something is blocked by that chair. Completion of the main stand, 84. And then, picture to come of the new stand in action tonight. I suppose today is such a big day for Air United as a club, the grand opening of the brand new stand here. Scott, the season begins today for you, does it? Or have you, you already been in a couple of um, weeks, you say? Yeah, played a couple of games, been in for a couple of weeks, but um, this is the first game at home at Somerset in front of the fans. So and people may recognise you from a couple of my videos last season at Dundee United. How was the switch this summer to air? Yeah, um, obviously I've only been here a couple of weeks, but I really enjoyed it so far and hopefully it's an exciting season for us. So look forward to it. Big day for your manager as well, Scott Brown against his former club Celtic. How's it been working under him? Yeah, it's been good. He's been great with me. Um, obviously him and, and Wits as well, a lot of experience and mm -hmm. both had good careers. So. Um, I am just looking forward to getting started and then um, get the season going. Just been handed a team sheet here. Almost Marco Royce. It's starting to fill out in here now. We're about to have the official opening of the North Stand over there. It's quite fitting that it's called the North Stand and I'm here to cover it, obviously. And we've seen it in so many different stages of progression. The last time I was at Somerset Park was the back end of last season, May 2024. And I found this picture which was for sale and it got me thinking of the first time that I went to Somerset Park. This was in 2021, still in the throes of COVID. Probably I hadn't seen a game there at this point. But fast forward to 2021. 24. This is February when I saw Air United play, and as you can see, a lot of work still to do. What attracted you to the Air United job? No, I think for me, they've got an ambition. Uh, Chairman, as you can see, they bought the new stand, and he's got that drive to go forward, and myself and Stephen have got the exact same drive. Fast forward a few months, and May of 2024, this was the last time they actually saw the stand before it got ready, and again, still a few bits to be done to the stadium. And that is when I bring you to the present day, with Brendan Rodgers and Scott Brown leading out their sides in what is one of the biggest days in this club's history. Is introduce you to our chairman, accompanied by his mum and dad, Alec and Anne Smith, to officially cut the ribbon and open our new North Stand. I hope you can hear the bagpiping over the Celtic fans. Maybe you can't, you know, even I can hear it. 
ever so slightly, but we have two ends of Celtic fans today. That end and that end. You can see the Scott Brown banner as well. There's Bruni, hopefully we can chat to him after the game. And we're about to kick off. I don't think these two have played each other since 2000, so it's been yeah, well over 20 years. But Scott Brown versus Brendan Rodgers, wherever he is. Oh, oh. I thought I was in there. It's strange, isn't it, seeing Celtic here against A United. You've not played them for so long. No, no, we haven't. Um, it's very weird to to, to see them here obviously they've got both ends both ends tonight um, a great turnout from both sets of supporters um, I must say but it's exciting for, for the United fans obviously the opening of the North Stand's exciting yeah. enough in itself but how will that help the club then do you reckon going forward massively I think you only got to look over there you see the number of corporate seats we've got um, I think they've listened to the supporters as well in terms of keeping that uh, traditional element with the yeah. with the terrace and as well so hopefully it will help bring I think it a couple of the players have spoken about it in their signing interviews that um, helps show the ambition of the club and yep. I think ultimately for where United want to go which is ultimately get to the Premier League in the next I don't know five, six, seven years then I think it's, it's essential that the, the club are showing ambition not only on the park but off it as well. Celtic have a penalty. Not a usual penalty taker, Kyogo, but I'm sure he's the highest goal scorer on this channel. Yeah. And he has another one. It's the first goal of Celtic season. <laughs> Kyogo for a <Ahashi. laughs> And that's the first goal in this new era at Somerset Park for A United. Half time. A United won, Celtic won. We point just now we have the under 13 Pro Youth Air United team. I lift it. Yes. Celtic have changed a lot of their team at half time and look here are some of the subs that have come on. There's a few that you'd recognise, your Yangs and your O's and stuff, but yeah, there's a lot of young lads in there. Do you recognise any? There's a few that are on the pitch right now and even in the first team look you've got Odin home. Oh in the first half we had like home and Kuhn and Kyogo playing and stuff. So some bigger names in that team that played the first half, but yeah, second half. Not too many recognisable names, so maybe a good chance for Air to go and nick it. So you're saying he's just played there last season, the yeah. goalkeeper is coming on. Any good? Yeah, he's a good, good goalkeeper, a really good shot stopper. That's their third goalkeeper of the day? Yeah, I think so. Have you ever been to a football match where one team has had three goalkeepers play in the, in the 90 minutes? No, I can't say I have. Ah, same, I don't think I have. <laughs> Still alive? Yes! Oh. Celtic fans yeah, today, yeah? That was a bit of a pitch invasion after... We were on, we play Academy under 21. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. And we your names are? My name's Andrew. And Daniel. Daniel. Andrew, yeah. your surname? Andrew Dan Daniel Marquez. So, so we're Celtic under 21. They're the, names to, they're the names to remember for yeah, the future, yeah, though, yeah? 
I'll be in Quinn at Euros in four years' time, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. Okay, nice. You'll be scoring the winner for Scotland, winner for Scotland in the Euros. Yeah. How do you reckon Celtic will get on next season then? I think they'll do. Yeah? And Eyre, how do you reckon they'll get on in the Championship? Good. Promotion playoffs, I think. It was a big day for you today. How did you feel going into the game? No, we were fine as long as, long as the lads managed to stick to the game plan, work hard, and that, that's what we really wanted out. And a lot of people were saying it's going to be emotional, and I, I'm not really a hugely overly emotional mm -hmm. uh, person, but it means so much for the lads, the fans, and stuff like that to be. Yep. To be, and even at the end, when with the small pitch invasion, yeah, as well exactly. You don't see pitch invasions at pre season friendlies usually, do you? No, it's amazing because it, the fans mean so much to me uh, Celtic fans and the air fans as well. And for them all to come together, no harm whatsoever, yeah. and it, it's, it seemed a good vibe all the way around the stadium. Do you think that pitch invasion was more for you than some of the Celtic players? There's got to be a couple out there that were rushing <laughs> on to get selfies with <laughs> you, probably, surely. There's probably a few of them there that don't even remember me playing, so <laughs> no, it's part and parcel. And as I say, it's brilliant for Celtic to, to bring these top quality players along. Bring and doing that a little bit as well and now hopefully we can keep pushing on as well we've got a good couple of friendlies coming up mm -hmm. and we've just got to try and push the squad and the players as much as we possibly can and you mentioned Brendan there has he imparted any wisdom on you down the years to make you the manager that you are today? yeah he definitely has I've, I've stole a lot from him shall I say but I met him on holiday as well yeah, I got him. I met him on holiday as well and he was brilliant with me, he takes time out and but to be fair I've got so much time and respect for the manager as well and what he's done in the game and yep. there's a reason why he's a top quality coach and top quality manager because he understands the game, he works so hard and you can see what he gets out of his players and team. And how do you think Celtic will get on this season? I know they've still got some signings to make and stuff but you must obviously keep tabs on, on what they're up to. Yeah I watch always for the results coming in that's for sure, I don't see as many games as I'd like to see these days but that's uh, part and parcel uh, me having a, a full time yeah, job now so no I think they'll do really well and under Brendan they're, they're brilliant they're, they're great to watch they win they, they know how to win they yep. big occasions they win games they win trophies and that's what the manager does and that's what he brings and that's what he expects and for Ayr in the championship this year it's a toss of the coin isn't it as, as to who's going to win the league it must be yeah, exciting be like, going into it not knowing yeah. sort of it'll be good yeah and it's going to be very competitive but it'll be the team that's most consistent throughout the whole season you, you ought to have that squad you ought to have those players and they've got the X factor as well and, yeah. We're trying to push the budget as far as we possibly can, bringing as top quality players as we can as well. So for, for, for us going forward, we, we've still got a couple, little bit of business to do, but we'll, we'll try and we'll try and yep. squeeze it out. And my final question for you: I think the first time I saw you, that was just a building site across there. It's now done. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? Looks brilliant, it's brilliant, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like a proper stadium. It looks yeah. like the club's got a drive, and that, that's, that's the biggest part of myself and Stephen coming to this football. Club. Thanks for getting this far in the video. Please subscribe.